Fontan surgery is an excellent surgery for children. It is life-saving, it's transformative in childhood. But as time goes on, pressures start to rise in the Fontan circuit and the circuit wears down. In adult life, we have very limited options. We can offer Fontan revision to some, even fewer qualify for heart transplantation. Essentially what we do is we treat the problems as they come up, problems with heart function, heart rhythm, and clots, but we really don't know how to get at the problem of prevention of high heart pressures. When the pressures rise in the heart, problems happen around the heart, and there's low blood going forward to supply the organs throughout the body. How do these patients present? Is basically the main symptoms are low energy levels, they often become more blue, and they have increased risk of rhythm problems, increased clot formations, uh, they start fluid retention in their lower extremities and their belly, and uh, because of the low cardiac flow and increased congestion in their venous system, they often develop multi-organ dysfunction, such as mainly the liver and kidneys get affected as time uh, progresses. So the normal heart has two pumping chambers, one designed to pump to the lungs, the other designed to pump to the body. In some cases, babies are born with only one effective pumping chamber. What the Fontan palliation does is it connects the large veins from the upper and lower body directly to the pulmonary artery, bypassing the need for a pumping chamber to the lungs. These babies can then live with one effective pumping chamber. The problem is over time, the pressures back up in this Fontan circuit preventing blood from effectively going forward to supply the body. In phase one, we'll take patients to the cardiac MR scanner to measure cardiac output. That will be the proof of principle. How well can this ventilator augment cardiac output? In phases two and phases three, patients will go home with the ventilator so we can allow them to have the benefit of a month of nighttime ventilation and then we'll measure the response in the catheter lab and using cardiac MRI techniques. This is a portable non-invasive ventilator and it's a Health Canada and the FDA approved device. Cura stands for a, a shell that sits on your chest and acts as a vacuum causing that the negative pressure that's generated in the cuirass will drive the additional, will give the additional suctioning force that drives the blood returning to the heart and improves the cardiac output. With this, we anticipate we can eliminate uh, the symptoms of these uh, patients who are in failing physiology and improve their quality of life. that this external ventilator can improve quality of life and prevent complications. We've yet to see whether the external ventilator will be a bridge to more advanced therapies or it may in fact turn out to be the destination therapy that patients use without the need for any additional more invasive or more involved therapies down the road.